your cats and cookies, it's Wolf Scoop bringing you another video. Today we are going to be reacting to Steven Universe Season 1, Episodes 17 and 18. 17 being Lion to the movie and Season 18 being Beach Party. Okay, I have a lot of theories already. Is Lion 2 maybe like the Lion King, like a movie that's based around the Lion King? Is it something to do with Steven's Lion? And then we have Beach Party. Is this a beach episode? Are we getting a beach episode of Steven Universe? Why is there always a beach episode? <laughs> but they do stay like on the beach, so it would make sense for of all the shows to have one, this to have one. I'm very much enjoying this show very deeply. It's a very, very, very good. I'm going to be pausing some shows. There's going to be some disruptions coming up on my channel. Want to let you guys know, in October Vox Machina drops and it's dro going to be dropping three episodes a week, 12 episodes in total. And then in November Arcane comes. We don't know if it's coming early November, late November, but also during both of these months there's going to be a hell of a boss episode dropping, both in October and in November. There's going to be heavy disruptions to everything on my channel, DuckTales, Dragon Prince and Steven Universe. I'm just letting you guys know, so keep an eye on my community tab. I will be posting any and all updates they are. Yeah, so some of the shows on my channel right now might need to take a small hiatus to get through some of these extra shows that are dropping. So just like FYI. However, Steven Universe has been doing very well in terms of views, so I tend to drop the shows that get the least amount of views in favour of new ones coming in. So Dragon Prince is like the first one I'm wrapping up. I got given pause episodes for both for all of the shows. Like Dragon Prince was fine because I could pause between two seasons, but I have been told that Steven Universe I could take a little pause after 20 episodes. 25 and 26 there's a natural pause there or that's a good place to stop and DuckTales at season 2 episode 7 so we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see well, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted keep an eye on my community tab for updates but I've been really enjoying this show and you guys have been enjoying watching it so yeah I guess we'll just continue then shall we usual YouTube shake thumbs up video click subscribe if you want access to the full raw early uncut version of all the reactions you can click the link in the video description down below it will take you to my Patreon you want this cool little merch t-shirt I'm wearing this is Morgan Terry's merch so make sure you go over and check them out as well if you want it. I would highly recommend it. It's a very comfortable shop. Let's bring the episodes up and get started. So here's the first one and we're going to click play. Let's go. Lion to the movie. Okay. Oh, it's like a proper trailer. This is fucking old school. This is what every trailer started with was this green screen. This is a trailer for Lion. Teach. An old dog new tricks, no? Nah. An old lion new tricks. New tricks. It's bold. Okay. In 3D. In 3D, oh my god. Yeah. The fur hits the fan. Oh, your friend's back. I've already forgotten her name because it's been a wee well since we've seen her. And remember, I record one April, one of my videos every every week. So it's like it's, it was a while ago, and I'm terrible with names because dyslexia. But like, it's her. Hi, I remember you. Hi. Okay, I'm glad she's a friend. Did you see where that missile came out of? Yeah. I just hope it stays faithful to the book. Oh yeah, because she's a big book reader. Connie. What a surprise to see. Was it really a was it really a surprise, Connie? Yeah, because you are posing. You don't normally come back like that. I'm just saying it, you don't normally come back like that. Okay, Connie, thank you, Pearl, for reminding. It's like Pearl is my mother. Watching me struggle through names on shows, and she's like, I got you, sweetie. I'll say the name right at the beginning of the episode. I know you'll forget it again later, but I've at least said it for you. We're gonna watch a movie about a wacky flying dog. It's about much more than that. Who needs to go see movies when you got magic? <laughs> I'm with this. We got our own snacks. Yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> Tamasa, stop it. Stop it. stop it. Okay, so these are all based on like American snacks, aren't they? I noticed that you, you guys get those big jars of cheese ball things. I saw them in the, the supermarket when I was with Elijah. I think it was Target or something we were in. You guys have aisles and aisles and aisles just dedicated to snacks. Like, don't get me wrong, like some of our bigger supermarkets have that too, but like you guys do snacks. Like, you just don't do small anything. Like, these things are like the fucking size of my head. It's impressive. Today we're Travel in style. Are you? Introducing the lion. Finest in luxury transportation. The lion. Lion. You have a pet lion. Yeah, he has a lion. Lion is sort of like a pet. He does his own thing most 
Platonimo. Everything in your life is so awesome and magical. Yeah. The most exciting thing in my life is tennis practice. Backhand! Overhead! Death strike! Hi, buddy! Hi! I think Lion says we should hurry up and go. Does it know where to squint? Does it know where to go? Uh, Lion, I want you to take us to the movie. Lion isn't trained very well, but I'm not trained very well either. So where are you? Okay, is that is that it? Wait, Wait that's not where you're using... That's not the di Oh, it can stand the war? Why don't you tell me you can do this? That's so cool. Can... That's so cool. They're not gonna make the movie, but they're gonna have fun all the same, aren't they? Are you sure he knows where he's going? Maybe it's a shortcut? Ah, uh, use hyper voice. Oh, it's opening a portal? Yeah, it's uh, taking you somewhere that it probably shouldn't be taking you, as I'm guessing. It's like a fucking train in Breath of the Wild. Are you okay? That was really cool. <laughs> that was really cool. Whoa. This is cool. Is this one of those magic gem places that you told me about? Yes. Yep, magic gem place. Ooh, what is this? She's going to figure stuff out. you here for a reason? Well, maybe, but if we don't hurry, we're gonna miss the commercials, and then we might miss the previews, and we still have to find the perfect seats near the front, but not too close. <laughs> she's, she's like, yeah, this is like a shrine for Breath of the Wild. You just talk, I will, I will, I will try and hey, crack it. Man, that's really stuck on good. I guess we'll have to chop it off. What? <laughs> what a shame. Oh. Hey, swords. Is it because she says chop it off? Oh, oh wow. it's listening to. That. Maybe if I do this. <laughs> Wait, He's ticklish. Wait, stop, stop, I'm gonna pee. Let's go. Oh, bring stuff to stop her. Press my nose, press my nose. The... Ooh. Oh, it's Wait, a flower cannon thing. Next, wow. What the fuck is this? Hold up. When they first came in here and we saw the thing pop up and it was in the shape of like a hand, the gem in the middle was pink, which is like his mother's crystal, right? The the rose quartz. Is this, you know how they each have their own space behind that door in the temple? Is this like linked to him? Is this his place in this space? Or like somewhere where his, like, an, a, I don't know. It's definitely tied to his mother and his gem and it gives him what he needs when he kind of asks for it. I get the feeling, though, I'm not really supposed to be here. I guess Lion wants us here, but I want us to be at the movies, and I hmm. want to see lots of explosions. Oh no, that's so good. Let's not go exploding things. Should we be worried yes, about this? Yes, yes, oh. you should be worried about this. You should be worried about this. It's going to be explosions, I'm guessing. Run. Yeah, because that's what you just said that you wanted. Ice, fire, electric. Oh, oh she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Oh, move out the way. Move out the way. Move out the way. Oh, oh, that was his uh, thing activated again. Why would the lion bring them here? Why is the lion pink? Why is the lion called Stephen's lion? Did the lion belong to his mother or tied into his mother in some way? That's why I brought him here. I'm doing the tanky tonks. There's more to this lion than I originally thought. I probably should have picked up on it a lot sooner, actually. Especially when we started seeing it again. I thought maybe it was just a bit in one of the first episodes when it appeared, but now I'm starting to think there's more to this lion and it ties into his mother somehow. His mother loved, like, all living things, right? She got she grew that moss on the top of the hill that blossomed beautifully. What if she also saw something in this lion? Or this lion is somehow part of her in some way? Hyper voice, there it goes. Oh, now they're going to the fucking cinema. What? Now you take us to the movies? He's got like a Whoa. bit blasted out of his hair. I ruined everything, didn't I? No, you didn't, I Stephen. You hang out with me. I messed up, up all the time. He's cuz you're cool. You hang out with me. Obviously, you have some sort of magical destiny. Yes. Do you, even care about you do. Like Dogcopter. Dogcopter is very cool and important to me. Oh. Did, did, did the thing follow them? I followed them! <laughs> what the fuck? What is it doing? What the fuck? He's got a sword in his head! 
Oh, but that's again the mark of his mother. This like rose petals in the hilt of the sword. That belonged to his mother. There's, this lion is related to his mother in some way. 100% this is related to his mother. Okay, so this is gonna have some sort of magical power sword. Before it destroys the theater. Yeah, like ASAP. Oh, just like that. Yeah, hit it back, hit it back. Good, excellent. See, see? Yes, just like tennis, of course. I love that. Oh, that's so cute. Just the little stars in their eyes. I should have realized when she did the tennis that that was going to come back in some way. I didn't think about it. Two kids and one lion to see dog Lion. Um, do you have a rewards card? <laughs> No mention at all of it being a lion, just do you have a reward scar? <laughs> so fucking good. There's something about that lion. Eh, they're taking some liberties. Taking some. Oh, that's good. That's good. Like the old school. What company was it that did the lion roaring thing? But that's that's really clever. I really like that. Okay, there's something about that lion now. I'm not buying it. That's bullshit. It's tied to his mother in some way. What was it they say when she gave up her physical form to have you? Was that what his dad said? I need to go back and just double check it. The good thing is, is that my girlfriend's gonna be here soon, literally in two days time and she loves this show. So she's agreed to watch it with me. Just up to where I'm at again, like just to rewatch so I can like remind myself because when you're watching, when I'm doing one video a week, you forget stuff because it's like the first two episodes of this show I watched like nearly two months ago or something now so we're gonna do a rewatch we're gonna get donuts because it's steven universe so of course we're gonna get donuts to watch it i really enjoyed that there's something about that fucking lion and steven's mother not that the lion is fucking steven's mother i don't <sighs> see this is why i should watch what i say just meant that there's some sort of tie link if you will between the lion and his mother. But yeah, let's bring up the next episode. So the next episode is Beach Party, which sounds great. We've been having a little bit of a heat wave here. It's lasted a whole three days. We've had three whole days of summer in Scotland and it's been glorious. I even got a little bit pink yesterday, which was quite nice for me. Okay, anyway, so let's bring this up. Here it is and let's go. Uh, yep. uh, you okay, Stephen? I've seen better days. Pearl, I got a boo-boo. Oh, walk it off. <laughs> The difference when it's, it is like a per, it's like Pearl's like a parent, right? And it's like when the youngest kid, you're like, are you okay? Oh my God, is my baby hurt? But then the older kid's like, I got hurt. And you're like, fucking walk it off, bitch. So true. Here it comes. Oh, hi. It's a quillfish. Watch it might lay out toxic spikes. Yep, it's got spikes. It's okay. Here comes Garnet. Come on, Garnet. But it's got spikes. Oh, and a voice. That didn't work. Nice try though. <laughs> Yay! Well, nice hit, Amethyst. Smacking it really far away doesn't solve anything. Now it's just gonna come back later. Can you pop it? Yeah, so we'll deal with it later. Gives you a chance to think, uh, think about it, and come up with a different strategy. Answer me! You wrecked my sign, and now you're just sitting up there. This place is wow. wrecked. Give me one down low. No accolades for you, Amethyst. <laughs> she knocked the pufferfish back out into the ocean. Nark! It is a pufferfish. back at the temple. Steven! What is wrong with your friends? One of them bust up my sign, then they all just jump into the sky like some suckers out without yeah, ever that. offering to help. But, Mr. Pizza, Dad, pipe down. That's oh, you, hi. You are going to wake this fish from the dead with other nausea. <laughs> I love that. Felix. Puppy. You're so loud. Why do you hang out with those animals? They're not animals. They're not animals. Hey. They're crystal gems hey. and they protect you, man. I've had enough. This fucking motherfucker. Hey, Steven. Oh. I've got bad news, everyone. You've all been banned from fish stew pizza. They're not gonna care. Oh, uh, that's okay. That pizza wasn't even good. Yeah. Aren't you guys upset about this? Clearly not. not. No. But these are our neighbors. If they got to spend some time with you, they'd see how fun and smart. And mysterious you are. That's cute. Mysterious. <laughs> mysterious. 
We don't actually really know that much about you. You're just a strong, silent type. We know that you've got like a third eye, which could be metaphorical as well as physical, like a spiritual eye type thing. But yeah, I feel like we're a bit closer to knowing a lot more about Amethyst and Pearl than we are Garnet, which is very fascinating. Man, this is gonna be so good. You're like 12, you shouldn't be cooking <laughs> on a grill. Hey, Steven. Got everything ready for your little party? That's yeah. cute. There's one more thing. I was thinking you guys could change your outfits. I just thought it would be nice to go kind of casual. Hurry up and change. And then that puffer fish is going to come back and they're going to see exactly what, why they do what they do and why there was a bit of destruction. They're going to see it. They're going to see it. So do these guys stay on the beachfront because most of the tax we see comes from the ocean? And in the last episode, the lion ran out into the ocean and created a portal out there. Is there some sort of like magical like essence or barrier or something to do with out in the ocean area. That's why they live on the beach to protect the city from the threats that come from that direction. Do I smell hot dogs? Yes. Show me where the hot dogs are. Fucking love hot dogs. Right way, I shouldn't, but I do. You are the crystal gem. Got it. Aw, cute! Their outfits, oh that's cute. And Steven! And Steven! You already knew my name. <laughs> Aren't you guys hungry? You better touch your food. We don't need to eat. Oh, oh you, you don't? don't? Wait, baby, wait. I am much older than you. So, you are... But I kind of figured that the gems have like significantly longer lives, right? I think that was actually confirmed in an episode. So this is why I need to rewatch all the episodes I've seen because I'm sure there was reference to stuff like that. I think it was Pearl says that they were immortal, but they could still be killed. So we don't really know how old all of them are. They're, I'm guessing they're fucking old. Okay, so they don't have to eat. It's just Amethyst likes eating. Well, the temple has been here for thousands of years. Oh, I see how it is. Thousands when something breaks around here, you just leave it alone. Just like the sign at my shop. Boom. Who wants to play volleyball? That's not a good idea. Amethyst and Jenny. Pearl and Kiki. Garnet and Kofi. Yours truly and Nanafua. Cute. I haven't played in ages. I bet I could whoop all your bots. When is this fucking puffer ball thing coming? He's coming back at some point. They're gonna see what they actually do. Like the, the fact that they have powers and they protect the town and it's gonna happen. And then they're probably gonna get given like free pizzas for life or something. Here it comes. Oh, come on. oh. What? they're just You're cheating. Anything. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. You afraid of getting a little sand in your hair? Yeah. No. Oh, they're so competitive. Stephen picked great teams and I hate it. He picked such good teams because they actually, they're very reflectant of each other's personalities. Like when you boil it down, that's clever. Yeah. You that boy, <laughs> wow. That's, that's <laughs> cheating. That's <laughs> great. Oof. Wow. 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 When sand is superheated, it turns into glass. I did know that. I did not know that. I did know that, but that's still cool to see. <gasps> oh, that explains why Minecraft. Oh. I never made that connection before, and yet I knew that heated sand turns to glass. But I didn't. Oh, I'm gonna take. Oh, cool. That's so mean. No, so oh, Steven's just wanting them all to get along. Here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. And um, everybody's everybody's guarded. Yes, good. Oh, yeah, they never got their chance to play. Let's go. Are they going to do it as like a game of volleyball? Oh, wait. The glass, sand glass thing's going to come back up, right? Is that going to come back up? Oh, she's giving the instructions. Excellent. <laughs> I love Pearl and Amethyst's dynamic so much. 
crack with pleasure. I got it. Spike the beach. I understand. Yes, let's go. Be gentle. I'll try. Yeah, she's not gonna be gentle. Boom. Yup. Yup. Boom. There it is. There's a the crystal. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pop it. Pop it, pop it, come on, Garnet. Yeah, come on, Garnet, here she comes. Yes! And for saving my family, Me. you are all officially unbanned from my shop. Oh, thank you so much, Gopi. What were we banned from again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this show. It's so charming. What were we banned for again? Wow, Pearl, wow. It's such a cute show, I love it. Their, their family dynamic is so adorable. Uh, uh, I always look forward to watching this show. Like, uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to record more episodes now until after Elijah's gone and she's here for like three weeks, which is great. But anyway, I'm really fucking enjoying this show. So hopefully you guys are as well. Don't forget to thumbs up video, click subscribe to join me on my Steven Universe of reactions. Don't forget to keep your eyes on my community tab for updates about when shows will be pausing for Vox and Arcane. If you want access to the full text, 36 minute long version of this reaction you can click the link in the video description down below it will take you to my patreon and that is all i've got time for i will see you next time with another video and until then haste you back guys